Okay guys, may I have your attention please? Uh, we are going to take a start with IELTS listening module and uh, we will solve one test all together. Uh, while solving the test, I'll give you tips and techniques and let me tell you today the class will finish at around 9.30, 9.30 p.m. So keep that in mind. Official time 5 to 8.30, right? So good teachers always finish the class before time or after time? After time. <laughs> All right. So 9.30 maybe, uh, actually, you know, our official time here is 5 to 10, right? So 5 to 9.30 we'll have the class today, but it might finish before, a little before or after, right? But 10 o'clock is the time, ke shadi hall ki tarah. 10 o'clock hume bhi nikal denge, okay? So don't worry about that, 10 se aage nahi jayega, okay? And again, I tell you, whenever you come for the class, you should have plenty of time, at least not for IELTS. कुछ जगह होती है ना जहां पे इंकार नहीं होता होता है ना ऐसे कुछ जगह होती है बंदा इंकार नहीं कर सकता तो आयल्स इज एक्चुअली वो जगह के यहां पे इंकार नहीं करना आपको पढ़ाऊंगा आपके फायदे के लिए ठीक है आयल्स पढ़ाना मुझे अच्छा लगता है मजा आता है एंड ऑल दैट लेकिन मैंने भी घर वापस जाना होता है ठीक है सो डोंट वरी लेकिन मुझे घर जाने की जल्दी अब ये नहीं कहना सर आप तो मैरिड हैं आपको जल्दी नहीं है घर जाने की नॉट लाइक दैट ओके एग्जैक्टली सो यू हैव टू बी विद मी पांच से दस का टाइम जेन में रखना है अगर दस बजे से पहले जान छुट गई तो आपकी किस्मत और वरना दस बजे तक हम लोग इकट्ठे हैं पांच घंटे याद करेंगे ये वक्त वो पल हमें याद आएंगे सुना मैं किसी ने गाना ये पल हमें याद आएंगे ठीक है तो मैं चाहता हूं अच्छे उसमें याद करें ये पल ये पल याद करें कैनेडा में बर्फ पड़ी हुई है हाथ में कॉफी है पी रहे हैं सोच रहे हैं यार वाकई हाँ सिडनी में बैठे हुए हैं वहां पे सोच रहे हैं तो वहां पे ये पल याद आएंगे यानी यहाँ पे रेडी वाले ने धक्का दिया तो तब याद आ रहे कि अच्छा वो अच्छा था टाइम एट नॉट लाइक दैर ओके तो थोड़ा सा जरा एक्टिव अलर्ट और आयल्स पे कोई कॉम्प्रोमाइज नहीं अगर मैं कहूँ आज क्लास दस बजे खत्म होगी मुझे पैड़ा सा मुंह बना के नहीं दिखाना अभी मैंने मुंह का वर्ड यूज किया मैं बूथा भी कह सकता था ठीक है बी केयरफुल ये सारा चलता रहेगा एज इट इज अच्छा जी नाउ लेट्स टेक अ स्टार्ट आयल्स लिस्निंग पार्ट वन पार्ट वन इज ऑलवेज ऑलमोस्ट वन वर्ड ओनली अकॉर्डिंग टू द लेटेस्ट पैटर्न ऑफ आयल्स बट यू नेवर नो दे कैन गिव यू एन ओल्ड टेस्ट लाइक दो तीन हफ्ते पहले दे गेव मल्टीपल चॉइस इन पार्ट वन सो बी प्रिपेयर फॉर एनी टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन राइट बट यूजली in part 1 they will give you one word only now what is one word only and how to do it let me tell you if you guys are looking for reasonable bench score in ielts reasonable bench score is the bench score that starts from 6.5 to 9 band that is what i call reasonable right so for that you need to get 10 out of 10 in part 1 and i'll tell you how i'll tell you what to focus and all that 10 out of 10 in part 1, 10 out of 10 in part 4. Because part 4 is always one word only. Sometimes no more than two words, but otherwise it's one word only. So part 1 and part 4, 10 out of 10. Part 3 may get bad. I'm telling you, to be very honest. Because sometimes there are more multiple choice questions. Sometimes some confusing type of questions. But part 1 and part 4 will actually cover that. Right? If you get 39 correct answers, what's the bench score? 9. A ki gunjaish hai. Right? So you can just see that. Okay. Now, in one word only, actually, the first thing is IELTS listening is actually the game of synonyms. What they do, the language that they use in the booklet, in question booklet, like you've got this question booklet, the language they use here and the language they use in the audio. Right? There are two to three types. Type number one, it can be synonyms. Synonyms are just like the words with the same meaning. Type number two, it can be rewording. Now, for example, auditorium. For auditorium, they can use the word public room. Auditorium is proper word. Rewording is public room. And sometimes they actually paraphrase. Now, what is paraphrasing? Paraphrasing is, for example, if it is a glass of water, Glass is vocabulary word. Paraphrasing a container which is used to hold liquids. A container which is used to hold liquids. Baat kis ki ho hai? Glass. So this is actually IELTS language which you guys have to master. Once you understand their tricks, once you understand their pattern, like for glass they can use this word, for that they can use that word. 
then you are going to be very comfortable then you will enjoy then you'll say okay aate nu mein dasna something like that you'll be ready for that aur agar nahi to phir aap kahenge ye bhi nahi sahi multiple choice bhi mushkil hai matching bhi mushkil hai part 4 mein bhi masla hai na ungli jahan lagata hu dard hoti hai to problem kis mein hota hai ungli mein hota hai to wo phir problem aapke sath hoga that's not the problem with multiple choice and all that right Now you have to be with me independently. काम करें अपना अलग अलग अपने अपने पेपर पे हैंड आउट पे फोकस करें जस्ट वर्क इंडिपेंडेंटली ट्राई टू कनेक्ट विद मी राइट ऊपर एक कमरा था वेर वी हैड द क्लासेज रेड रूम रेड रूम में कितने लोगों ने क्लासेज ली हैं पहले राइट सो रेड रूम वॉज अ स्मॉल रूम एंड आई डेंट हैव एनी आई कॉन्टैक्ट यहाँ पे आने का मुझे कोई स्टेज पर खड़े होने का शौक नहीं है राइट द थिंग इज आई कॉन्टैक्ट नाउ वी हैव आई कॉन्टैक्ट सो प्लीज कनेक्ट विद मी अगर आप लोग मुझे देखेंगे तो मैं भी आपको देखूँ ठीक है अगर आप नहीं देखेंगे तो ठीक है दैट्स ऑल अप टू यू सो व्हेन यू कनेक्ट विद मी थ्रू आई कांटेक्ट लाइक यू नो विल हैव कम्युनिकेशन सो आई वांट स्ट्रॉन्ग कम्युनिकेशन सो दैट आई कुड टीच यू ऑल दीज थिंग्स दिस लिस्टिंग विल कंटिन्यू अंटिल 7:15 और 7:30 एंड देन विल हैव अ ब्रेक फॉर हाफ आवर वी डू हैव अ कैफेटेरिया देयर इफ यू वांट टू हैव सम टी कॉफी यू कैन गो देयर और अदरवाइज यू कैन स्टे हियर एंड आफ्टर दैट वी विल हैव द स्पीकिंग क्लास राइट सो लेट्स टेक अ स्टार्ट Complete the table below. From this, you understand the question type. The first sentence which they give you that will teach you the question type. So the question type is table completion. In listening part one, usually they give you table completion. Then they say write no more than one word and or a number. One word and or. One word and or means, for example, one bottle. Now one bottle is number plus. Word bottle is word and one is number. number. Answer can be only bottle. Now bottle is a word. Come on, for God's sake. थोड़ा सा तो तावन करें ना देखें गलत बात है. All right. And if I say one, one is number. Bottle is word. One bottle is word. Yeah, number plus word. So it can be number plus word. It can be only number. It can be only word. These are the options. Okay. All right. Let's go on. Community center evening classes. Now switch on your imagination. Imagine community center. Now you say I don't know community center. No. Community center is a center where you go. You attend classes. Like this is a community center where we are now. We have a cafeteria, auditorium, and all that. Then they say evening classes. Now imagine a place where they have evening classes and a community center and all that. Always remember in IELTS listening, your imagination will help you a lot. If you imagine, like you know, sometimes students they they say I can't pay attention when I listen to the audio. My mind is wandering. Your mind will wander if you don't imagine what they say. So if you imagine community center, evening classes. All right, let's do one small exercise. Thirty seconds only. Close your eyes, all of you. Close your eyes. Close your close your eyes. I said, close your eyes. Okay, now just imagine a beautiful sea. A beautiful blue sea, and white birds are flying over the sea. And now you can see the sand on the beach. Some children are playing. with sand the beautiful birds are flying the wind is blowing now take a look at the waves in the sea the blue waves and look up you can see the beautiful sky with clouds blue sky with white clouds oi uth jao bhai yeah that's it okay <laughs> that's it see that abhi to maza aana shuru hua tha this <laughs> This is what we call imagination. So your imagination with open eyes, like you know, you are into that world. Whatever they are saying, you imagine. Then you will not miss any answer. And if you imagine, sometimes this happens. Or you listen, बगैर भी आंसर आ जाते हैं. I'll show you, right? I'll show you that. Okay. Now in the table, we've got uh, five parts. Number one, class. Is there any question in class? No. Right? In there is no question. Where? Where means location. Is there any question there? Yes. yes, one question only, right? Second is when. When means timing, right? Day, date, timing, and all that. Is there any question? Yes. How many? Two. Two. 
Next is what to bring. What to bring means stuff. Like for example, today you came for IELTS class. First of all, you brought yourself. And along with that, you brought notebooks, paper, stationery and all that. So this is what to bring. And the last one is cost. And uh, is there any question? Yes. yes, there is only one question, right? So whatever is given above the questions in the table or below the questions, that will help you. For example, please come to question number six. When you take a look at question number six and you look above, upar dekhe 40 pounds, five classes. Now you understand answer is going to be a number. This is how you can get help, right? In the same way, please come to question number four and look below question number four, 6 p.m. Wednesday evening. And now you see starts in, so it means answer is going to be time or day or month or anything like that. So whatever is given before, after, that will actually help you. Now we come to question number one. Class is painting with watercolors. Can you imagine a painting class? Just imagine paintings on the wall and colors here and there and all that. Example is given, but now they have removed the example. Right? After that, when? At dash PM. At dash PM means it's going to be time. And remember, when they say one number, I mean, one is one number, 1000 is one number, one million is also one number right for example if you write 9 30 p.m for example now you you might argue 9 is one digit 302 more not at all 9 30 is going to be considered as one number. one number okay now here i would like to introduce something important in ielts that is what we call trap for example you say sir when will you start the class I say, well, usually the reporting time is 4 p.m., but the students start coming at 3.30 p.m. because some of the students, they come from far away and then we'll have orientation session at 4.30 and actually the class will start at 5 p.m. What's the answer? See that, but before that, 3 o'clock, 3.30. So in IELTS listening, they want to see whether you can differentiate right information from wrong information or not. For example, where are you going? I want you to go to Peshawar. But then some people told me, don't go there. And then I changed my plan and I decided to go to Islamabad. But because of the bad weather, I couldn't go there. Now I'm going to Muridke. <laughs> For example, so what's the answer? <laughs> Muridke. Yeah, you know, sometimes you say, where do you want to go? UK or Muridke? So UK and Muridke are very close. For UK, you need passport visa. For Muridke, you don't need any passport visa. Muridke is a small island. Right? Yeah, it's in Europe. So anyways, yeah. Now, many people will ask me by commenting this video. We want to go to Muridke. It's a small island in Europe. And without passport visa, we can go there. So they're going to contact. Whenever I make a video of fraudsters, they don't buy IELTS certificate. People ask me the question, how much do you charge for IELTS certificate? And then I have to answer. Anyways, so question number one is at dash PM on Tuesday. Now guys, listen, if they say on Monday at 4 PM, is that the answer? No, because you have to focus Tuesday as well, right? So let's take a start. Question number one. You will hear a conversation between an assistant at a community center and a man who wants to join some evening classes. Hello, Eastwood Community Centre. Oh, hello. My name's Andrew Dyson. I'm calling about the evening classes you offer. OK, Mr Dyson. Are there any classes in particular that you're interested in? Yes, you've got a class called Painting with Watercolours, I believe. That's right. It's a popular class, so this term it'll be moving to the hall, so they've got more room. Right. I know it's on Tuesdays, but what time exactly? It was 6.30 last term, but let me just have a look at the details. OK, it'll be 7.30 this time. Probably it suits more people. Well, it's my wife who's really interested, and that'll be good for her because she's home from work by 7.15. That'll give her just enough time to get there. So, 7.30. Well done. Last year... 6.30 and my wife finishes work at 7.15. You understand? Yeah. So if you understand the traps, you will never be trapped. Otherwise, you will write 7.15 and you will sit like this. 
yeah, I'm very confident. मेरे पैंती आंसर सही होंगे yeah and then you understand ke khali tanji sahi hai baki galat okay so be careful whenever there is a trap you should know what a trap is are you all clear yeah. very good iske baad aap log apna ids ka channel bana lijiyega anyways question number 2 what to bring what to bring means material now please imagine painting what is the material for painting colors brushes and its water colors so you need colors brushes apron what else canvas right and other things like that now those who do uh, painting there is one thing it is called donkey they have a donkey also painting walon ke liye na wo uske ek cheez hoti hai iske upar aap baith jate hain like a, like you sit on a donkey and then you do your painting and coloring and all that okay anyways so <laughs> because i saw painting classes so we stand sa hote hain jis pe aapko bike pe jaise baithte hain na waise baith ke painting karna hoti that thing is called donkey so <laughs> all right water jar and set off now guys please focus set off whenever they use the word set off it means answer is going to be plural number 1 for set off they can use the word few some right now let's see what is it that you need an answer will come with water jar water jar is your clue word in the audio you will say you will need a water jar and not only that you might need a uh, some brushes You might need some brushes. So answer will be brushes. brushes. I play the audio now. Um, what does she need to bring? Okay. Well, paints are provided by the tutor. I know that. Um, the information says she'll need just a jar for water and some pencils for drawing. There are also lots of aprons here, so she needn't worry what she's wearing. Good. Now, why not paints? they are provided and why not aprons they say we've got lot of aprons here so she doesn't need to worry about it so the right answer is pencils now how do you spell pencils p i n p e n c i l s exactly if your uh, spelling is correct your answer is correct if your spelling is wrong your answer is wrong right now over here if you write pencil instead of pencils will the answer be right or wrong wrong why wrong because after set off it should be plural right okay so far so good samajh aa rahi hai sabko oh bhai ki ho gaya tenu yeah is bacche se zara bach ke rehna hai ye bahut baatein karta hai theek hai aapne zara isse bach ke rehna hai to si vakri apni class laga li ha very good you are intelligent boy i know right yakeen nahi aa raha na piche dekh raha hai mud ke बस कर इंसान एक दफा क्या हुआ इन माय मैथ्स क्लास वन डे आई वाज एब्सेंट स्कूल में था आई थिंक सेवेंथ और एट्थ क्लास सो आई वाज एब्सेंट एंड नेक्स्ट डे व्हेन आई वाज गोइंग टू स्कूल मेरा जो क्लास फेलो था ही सेड यू टॉप्ड इन मैथ्स वी हैड अ टेस्ट देयर एंड ही सेड यू टॉप्ड इन मैथ्स और सर भी पूछ रहे थे वो किधर है आज एंड आई वाज एब्सेंट दैट एंड आई वाज थिंकिंग माय टेस्ट डिडंट गो दैट वेल हाउ कुड आई टॉप बट ही वाज लाइक पर नहीं होते गंदे बच्चे होते हैं सर तेरा टॉप हुआ था तो सबसे हाईएस्ट नंबर एंड दिस एंड दैट एंड इवन द गर्ल्स वर क्लैपिंग एंड ऑल दैट एंड आई वाज लाइक वेरी गुड द नेक्स्ट डे व्हेन आई वेंट टू स्कूल कॉन्फिडेंटली एंड द टीचर केम इन द क्लास एंड आई वाज सिटिंग लाइक दिस दैट नाउ ही इज गोइंग टू अप्रिशिएट मैं फेल हुआ था जीरो नंबर लेके एंड एंड ही सेड यू टॉप्ड इन मैथ्स राइट सो समटाइम्स इस तरह भी हो जाते हैं ये ओके एनीवे वो वकी टॉप किया था नीचे से टॉप किया था डॉट वर्ड से सो पेंसिल्स इज द आंसर नाउ नेक्स्ट इज मोरी लैंग्वेज नाउ दिस इज नॉट द मोरी जिससे देखा जाता है दीवार के आर पार प्रोनाउंस वैसे ही करेंगे इसको ओके प्रोनाउंस ऐसे ही करेंगे या दिस इज अ पंजाबी हैज इन्वेंटेड समथिंग कि आप दीवार के आर पार देख सकते हैं पीपल आस्क व्हाट इज दैट इज अ मोरी ओके all right so anyways anyways let's come back mori language mori is the name of the language right they, they, in the audio speak it as mori language something now the small room at the dash of the building now just focus the room is located at one part of the building for example the small room at the now pre preposition at will help you a lot because they are going to use that preposition so there is a small room where they have the classes for mori language now where is that room in that building for example if they say in the basement now for basement they cannot say at the basement right they can say on the ground floor on is different preposition so sometimes preposition can help you understand right 
Let's see. Yeah, what did you say? That's the answer. <laughs> now, we're both quite keen on the Maori language class. There are spaces on the next course, so you could join that. Oh, good. Which room will that be in? When you come in through the entrance of the community centre building, you'll need to go straight up the stairs in front of you, all the way to the top, and it's the small room you'll find there. I see. All the way to the top, and it's a small room you'll find there. There means top. So what's the answer? Top. Very good. That's right. Okay, now question number four starts in... Again, it can be time. Now, by the way, we cannot say start in 9 o'clock, 8 o'clock. We cannot say starts in Monday, Tuesday. We say starts on. Starts in January. Starts in February, March. So the answer is going to be month. Why not day? Because with day, we'll use on. Starts on Monday. For time, we use at. Starts at 4 o'clock, right? So this is going to be something different. Let's see what that is. All right. And let me just check when it's starting. I heard from someone that the July course has been delayed until August. I'm afraid so. And we're halfway through the June course at the moment. So there's not much point to taking that. I guess we'll have to wait then. July course has been extended to August. I'll play this audio again, right? Now, they talked about June, July, and August. Please listen again. And how much... All right. And let me just check when it's starting. I heard from someone that the July course has been delayed until August. I'm afraid so. Uh, July course has been uh, delayed until August. So, it's not July, it's August. And then she said, I'm afraid so. I'm afraid so means it's true. I'm afraid doesn't mean I am fearful or I'm afraid. It means I'm sorry, right? For example, I'm afraid I can't help you means I'm sorry I can't help you, right? And then they said like there is a June class, but it is already like it halfway. So you cannot join that. Please listen. And we're halfway through the June course at the moment. So we are halfway through the June course at the moment. So it's not June. And actually it's going to be August is the right answer. July course has been delayed to August, right? Okay, and sometimes if you don't understand what to write, you can just write July, August, and then later on you can decide. All right, let's go on. Uh, after that, there is no question, but you guys can do one thing, just underline photography. In the audio, when they say digital photography, the next course is photography or digital photography. Uh, you know, uh, like uh, some of, like one of the students told me it's difficult for me to go on with the audio. Ya audio aage nikal jati hai, ya main aage nikal jata hon, something like that, right? So, in order to stay in contact with the audio, try to underline the words like 40 dollars, 40 pounds. Okay, now 40 pound is something which you will never miss. So when they speak 40 pounds, it means audio is there. When they say digital photography, when they say room 9, when they say room 9, it means audio has reached there. So the, this information which is already given is more like signpost. It will tell you now the audio has reached here. Okay, 6 p.m. is mentioned. Question number 5 is what to bring? The dash for the camera. What do you need for the camera? Real kithoagi, prane camera, baby chalati or real wale camera, huh? Yes, very good. Memory card for the camera, lens for the camera, battery for the camera, tripod for the camera. It's going to be one of these things. Now, you know, these answers are coming from your imagination, right? They say dash for the camera, you immediately imagine for camera, we need battery, we need charger, we need lens, we need memory card. So answer is going to be from these choices. So this is what we say prepared mind for IELTS listening that you know answer is going to be categorized like this. Now I play the audio, please listen and find. Um, there's one more class I'm interested in. That's the digital photography class. Oh, I've taken that class myself. The tutor's very good. That will be in room nine, and it's starting in two weeks' time, in the evening, every Wednesday at six o'clock. Um, obviously I need to bring the camera with me. I suppose it'd be useful to have the instructions that go with the camera too? I'd say so. Um, some people bring along a lot of accessories like extra lenses, 
but there's really no need for this class. It's mainly focusing on composition, really, and getting the most out of the basic camera. That's exactly what I need. Instructions, exactly. They didn't even mention batteries and lenses. They said you don't need that. I'll play it again. Um, there's one more class I'm interested in. That's the digital photography class. Oh, I've taken that class myself. The tutor's very good. That'll be in room nine, and it's starting in two weeks' time, in the evening, every Wednesday at six o'clock. Um, obviously I need to bring the camera with me. I suppose it'd be useful to have the instructions that go with the camera too? I'd say so. Okay, instructions that go with the camera too, so I'd say so. Answer is going to be instructions. Instructions like, you know, manual. Instruction, a booklet. That is what they call instructions. So the answer is instructions. And by the way, the word that is written in the question cannot be the answer. Like initially, they say, obviously, I need to bring my camera. Now, you cannot write camera for the camera. Right? It's not logical. Question number six. Uh, dash... It means there is the currency sound, uh, uh, currency sign. Now, please listen to me carefully. Whenever, okay, whenever there is the currency sign, currency sign mein kya hota hai? Ya dollar hoga, ya pound hoga. Aur agar to currency ka sign already diya hua hai, to phir aapne currency nahi likhni. Agar first kare, unhone aapko dollar sign diya hua hai, to aapne dollar nahi likhna. Pehli baat. Dusri baat ye, ki jab bhi aap currency ki baat karte hai, to currency ko na ye log bolte hai, special tarikhe se. वो मैं आपको भी बताता हूं उसके बाद हम उसकी थोड़ी सी प्रैक्टिस करते हैं करेंसी को कैसे बोलेंगे टेन डॉल नाउ इफ दिस से इट्स गोइंग टू बी टेन डॉलर एटी सेवन सो टेन पॉइंट एटी सेवन राइट सो ऑलवेज रिमेंबर लाइक इफ दूज दर्ड योरो थर्टी फाइव योरो पॉइंट थ्री जीरो राइट एंड यू मस्ट राइट जीरो अगेन आई एम टेलिंग यू इफ यू राइट फाइव पॉइंट थ्री सो फाइव पॉइंट थ्री इज नॉट फाइव पॉइंट थ्री जीरो दैट्स डिफरेंट so let's play the audio and one more thing eight classes eight classes if this is, it will cost you 10 dollars each class but if you want to join eight classes then it's only 60 dollars or 60 pounds whatever right so your focus is on eight classes that's right and how much does it cost uh, let's see for four classes it's 35 dollars but if you take eight, it works out as $55. So you're making a bit of a saving. $15, that is. I see. So, $55 for eight classes. For four classes, they said something else. But your answer is not four classes, right? So in listening part one, it's not whatever you hear. That answer is going to be a number. Jobi number at likto. You have to be careful. Eight classes they mentioned, so then they gave you the price of four classes. You got to see what is the right one. Okay, let's go on. Questions seven to ten. Complete the sentences below. This is called sentence completion. In listening part one, uh, we do have table completion as question seven to ten, or sometimes it is uh, uh, this uh, sentence completion, so it's the same. Uh, now, one word only. Again, one word, and have they mentioned any number? No. no, there is no number, it's only word, one word only. Questions 7 to 10. Let's see. Watercolor classes suits people who are. Now, suits people who are means it is appropriate for those who, whatever, right? Now, let's focus that. Watercolor classes suit people. So watercolors actually suit people means type of people. So the answer is going to be the level. What is the level? Beginner, intermediate, upper intermediate, advanced level. So it's going to be a level, right? Let's see. Okay, now just another question for the watercolors class. I've just remembered that my wife asked me to find out about the level. Who's it for? Okay, well, you don't have to be very skilled or anything like that. It's designed for beginners, actually. People who might see art as a hobby rather than as a professional opportunity. That sounds like my wife. It's designed for beginners. beginners. Now, how do you spell beginners? G-I, double N or single N? Double N. Exactly, right? If the spelling is wrong, your answer is wrong. Beginners. And uh, by the way, if you write singular, beginner, 
Is that the right answer? Why not? Because they have mentioned R. So after R, answer must be plural. Okay, otherwise they accept singular plural, but if they write any verb, then they just want plural answer. Okay, question number eight. To find out about Mori language class, contact Jason Dash. Now, Jason is his first name. It can be Jason Gama. It can be Jason Chaudhary. It can be Jason Nambardar or any other thing like that, right? And if the word is unusual, they will spell it for you, right? So, let's see. Question number eight, yeah. And um, who do I talk to if I want to find out some more about the Maori language classes? Probably best to talk to the tutor directly. He'll be in the office in about half an hour. His name's Jason Kuai. That's K-A-H-U-I. Good. I'll give him a call. Hello. Third up and movie ni kita. What are you doing? Huh? All right. Now, what happened with her? This is very common in IELTS listening that you are attentive, waiting for the answer, but in your mind, it is Kirele Kima. <laughs> Or you are thinking about curry pakoda or anything else. So answer will come and go and who cares, right? Because then you think I've got the second option, either UK or Murit K. <laughs> so please be attentive. This might happen with anyone. Eyes open, the mark bhi chal Yeah. Like he said, Jadu karte, mera hathi nahi chalaya. Something like that. Right? I once had a nightmare. My nightmare was that I am sitting for actual IELTS test and I'm wearing that headgear for listening and then the answer comes. I want to move my hand. It doesn't move. And I say, oh, but I know the answer I want to write, but my hand doesn't move. That was my nightmare. But that is your reality. I play this again for you now. Be attentive. Huh? Yeah. And how much does it cost? Uh, let's see. For four classes, it's Sorry. thirty-five dollars. Uh, question number eight. And um, who do I talk to if I want to find out some more about the Maori language classes? Probably best to talk to the tutor directly. He'll be in the office in about half an hour. His name's Jason Kuai. That's K A H U I. Yeah, up to what happened, children, huh? K A H U I, Kuai. Pine Kuai. Yeah, it's that, Kuai. Okay, Kuai. It sounds strange. Anyways, that's the name. Now, question number nine. For photography class, check the dash for the camera. Check memory card for the camera. Check battery for the camera. Check something for the camera. Let's see what that is. Oh, if you do decide to come to the photography class, don't forget to look at your camera battery and make sure it's charged. I know it sounds obvious. Okay, don't forget to look at your... Now, just take a look at this. This said check. For check, they're using the word don't forget to look at. Don't forget to look at the tires. For example, check the tires. Don't forget to look at your wallet means check your wallet. Right? So don't forget to look at, and the answer is battery. B U double T B A double T E R I, and not battery. Yeah? Okay. Good. Question number 10. There is a trip to local. Now focus that. There is a trip to local dash in the final week of photography class. A trip to local place or local something like that. Let's see what that is. Oh, that reminds me. In the final week of the photography course, is it right that there's a visit to a show in the local area? I work in the city, you see. So there I'm is a visit to show in local area. Now, there is a trip to local area in the final week? Actually, it's show. I'll play it again. Oh. That reminds me, in the final week of the photography course, is it right that there's a visit to a show in the local area? I work in the city. Okay, there is a visit to show in local area. Visit to show. So there is a trip to a local show. All right, just give me a minute. Let me confirm that.
It, actually, it's show. Yeah. All right, let's go on. There is a trip to a local show in the final week of photography class. Please listen again. Oh, that reminds me. In the final week of the photography course, is it right that there's a visit to a show in the local area? I work in the city, you see, so I might have to come home early for that one. Yes, they'll decide the date once the class has started. All right, so there is a trip to local. Now, listen, I mean, trip to local area. Actually, it's not the area. It's not the area. It's not the area. Only the audio. Right? So, there is a trip to local show uh, in the final week of the photography. Actually, like you are thinking, it should be like local area. Now, the trip is not to the local area. That show is in the local area. But the trip is to the show which is in the local area. Right now, trip is not to the local area. Right, trip is actually for the show which is in the local area. Listen again. Oh, that reminds me. In the final week of the photography course, is it right that there's a visit to a show in the local area? There is a visit to a show. Now, see, trip to a. Now, visit to a show actually. So, trip to a show, and where is that show? In the local area. So, actually, the word trip. And uh, they use the word visit for that, right? Show is the right answer.